Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and as you can probably tell from the title today, we're going to be talking about another star that has a mysterious dimming effect, very similar to Tabby's star that we've talked about previously. Let's discover what's going on here, and welcome to What The Mad. And so here is the star that uh, we're going to be talking about today. This is a star known as RW Origa A, with the partner B in the background. This particular unusual star uh, didn't really make it to the news uh, until very recently, even though we've been studying this for the past seven years. Um, unlike Tabby's star that actually was surprisingly popular in the news and in the media, RW Origa A um, didn't really uh, become the hit mostly because it was actually discovered by the astronomical community as opposed to being discovered by uh, citizen scientists like Tabby Star. Now here, just like with the Tabby Star, there's an unusual dimming effect. So basically, if you look at the star long enough, and here we're talking about, I guess, period of several years, you'll see that it once in a while actually becomes a lot dimmer and then increases back in brightness. And uh, this happens quite a lot. As a matter of fact, there were at least three dimming uh, situations we've detected since 2010, and all three, as of now, were not really explained very well, but uh, the paper that was released in July of 2018 does a pretty good job at explaining what might be happening here. And in a nutshell, what's really going on, we think, so far, is that we've actually detected one of the first planetary collisions that probably occurred a few uh, thousand or maybe hundreds of thousands of years ago. Now, this particular collision might be responsible for what we're seeing here. And the reason is, this is actually directly from Chandra um, X-ray Observatory, we might be seeing the actual particles from the planetary collision that are essentially spread out across the star system and are slowly being eaten up by the actual star itself. And while it's absorbing those particles, some of those particles are in front of the star, so we are actually seeing these dimming effects uh, kind of overshadow the star itself. So in other words, these unusual dims that we observed in 2010, 2011, also 2013, and 2017 were most likely the particles from those two planets that collided. Or it's quite possible that it's actually the particles from the core of those planets, or at least one of those planets. And just to help you visualize this, here are two random planets. One of them is relatively new and one of them is more established and they're going to be colliding with one another and only one of them will actually prevail. Uh, so one of them will survive, the other one will most likely become debris and its core and its basically internal structure will um, kind of spread across the star system and this will then be absorbed by the star itself. And as it's being absorbed by the star and as a lot of these particles kind of come in front of the star, it starts dimming. And because a lot of these particles are actually iron and various heavy metals, we can actually potentially detect them to see if this is actually what we're observing. And it just so happens that in the new paper in 2018, that's exactly what they discovered. They discovered that the dimming effect that we saw in 2017 had a lot of, a lot of, a lot of iron in it, way more than we should, uh, should be seeing. And so this suggested to the scientists studying this particular star system that what we're seeing is basically a star um, eating up the remainders of a planetary collision. And so here, what you see is one planet kind of survived, the other one became more or less fragmented, and uh, it's been now eaten by the RW um, Origa A. And so if I accelerate this, uh, you'll see that a lot of these fragments and particles start orbiting the star, and a lot of them will eventually actually fall in and be absorbed by the star itself. Uh, so this is obviously not all of the particles, but the actual dust cloud that's been created by this collision is so big that it literally covers the star and dims it by uh, a significant enough amount that we can actually see it from planet Earth, even though the star is really far away. Now, if you are interested to learn more and want to actually read the paper behind this, uh, this is the paper itself, Optical Dimming of RW uh, AUR, associated with iron-rich corona and exceptionally high absorbent column density. Uh, the paper was just published uh, like a week ago when I'm making this video, uh, and it's kind of interesting to read, um, so I'm posting the link for this in the description below, so do check it out if you are actually interested in learning more. And 
I guess the reason why it's really interesting is because maybe that's exactly what's happening with the Tabby Star as well. Maybe that's exactly what we're, what we're seeing, even though we haven't really seen the um, iron particles just yet. So it took about three observations from this particular star to actually detect uh, that this was most likely a planetary collision. It'll probably take us a few years to find out what's happening in Tabby Star as well. So it looks like we've solved another mystery of space and uh, hopefully in the next few years we'll discover what actually is happening at Tabby Star as well. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Come back tomorrow to learn something else. Subscribe if you still haven't and share this video with someone who enjoys learning through video games and wants to learn more about space. Space out and as always, bye bye.